last week's segment of what's going around. We love this segment. It's getting to be that time of year again. We're talking about spring. It's right around the corner and with spring comes those allergies, those dreaded allergies. And here with me now is Carrie Hare, who's a nurse practitioner with CVS Minute Clinic. And we're going to talk about the common signs that you have in an allergy and allergy season. Carrie, thank you so much for being with us. Yes, thank you for having me. So Ye common signs yes. with allergies tend to be those itchy, run itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, usually the drainage is clear. Sometimes you can get that post nasal drip where it feels like it's going down the back of your throat, tends to lead to a sore throat later on, um, and sometimes can lead even to a cough. Yeah, so sometimes, I mean, people aren't, are a little confused. Is it allergies or do I have a cold or do I even have the flu? How do you kind of know the difference? Right, very similar. So they have a lot of the same symptoms, but one of the big indicators between allergies and say a cold or a virus um, tends to be that fever. Okay. So, um, that above 100.4 is usually the indicator that we look for. And looking at that drainage, you really wanna, in allergies, you see the clear drainage, whereas in colds and viruses, it tends to be more colored. Okay, that makes sense mm -hmm. for sure. Well, we've had some questions that have come in, including one question about neti pots, because some people wonder, you know, hey, do neti pots work if you have some of the allergy related issues, or if you have a cold and you have sinus pressure or that kind of thing, yeah. do you, what do you think about neti pots? So I think neti pots are a great tool a lot of times we really encourage nasal sprays or saline sprays um, and saline eye drops. And so similar to that, they're a way to kind of flush out that respiratory tract um, and clear out those allergens. So they're a great tool to use for allergies. That's really a great thing to know. And I know some people have wondered about taking um, medication for allergies. Okay, if you start taking them early and kind of prepare for allergy season, is that a good idea? Yes, so that's actually the best idea. Um, you wanna start two to four weeks before allergy season really hits. So it's very important to not just start early, but also stay consistent. <clears throat> They're, they don't work similar to like a Tylenol or ibuprofen where you take them as needed, but more so consistently through the season as you're continually exposed rather than just when you have symptoms. Starting them early is best because you want them to build up in your system and then that way they can prepare you best for when the allergy season does hit. So. Okay, very good advice to have. So go ahead and if you are prone to allergies, go ahead and start taking that Absolutely. medication. Absolutely, it is now is the season. So <laughs> um, as those warm days come in, those pollen counts increase and the trees are blooming. So now is the best time to start, absolutely. Oh. Well, we thank you so much for answering yeah. those questions and for your time today. Carrie here from CVS and uh, we thank you so much. And now we wanna go over to Kendra to talk about this weather.